this vid. I am Garite. Uh, welcome to this vid. I am going to be showing you how to download and install SCP Containment Breach Multiplayer Mod version 9 or 0 0.9. Uh, first of all, you have to go to a mega file. I'll link. I'll link it in the description. It will require a decryption key. The dec to get the decryption key you need to join my support discord server an invite will be linked down below also in the description if the invite does not work please leave a comment and uh, let's get on now here to download all of this this will also include dedicated server creation all the way from version 0 0.3 to version 0 0.9 9.7 so if you want you can downgrade your version to an older version of the game and see if the dedicated server works for that in this video I'll also be showing, showing you how to make a dedicated server and how to join one first of all you want to download this as zip now keep in mind you do need WinRAR for this or 7-zip one of the two or if I'm right Windows has its own default zip extractor so if this thing cannot be opened on your device you need either 7-zip or WinRAR alright now that uh, <coughs> you have downloaded the mod you should be able to open it and it should look something like this now what you want to do is go to a random folder I have made one here. These are all my SCP mods. Most of, most of them are just different versions of multiplayer mod. Basically make a random folder. CP multiplayer tooth. Good enough. Go here. Now there are two ways you can extract it. You can do it the way that I like to do it called uh, like hitting extract to finding the folder and uh, where is it here and hitting OK or there's another way that other people might do it it's basically by selecting all the files and dragging them out there both of them work equally as well now to uh, extract the files real quickly you should be extracting them into one single folder you can see how they're extracting in the background and this has thanks to uh, another person who also makes uh, SCP containment breach videos has been installed with some mods that make the game capable of working as by itself the game is unable to run it will just say memory access violation luckily this thing has some performance mods that will fix that problem before we get to dedicated server creations after I showed you how to install the mod uh, I'll show you how to update the mod in case of a new server update or similar coming out okay there we go now here this is how the folder should look like now what you want to do is go down here and make sure that you hit SCP Containment Breach Multiplayer mod and not SCP Containment Breach Multiplayer as this is an old outdated version that is most likely going to crash your PC I mean not I mean most like most likely going to crash the game if you try and run it so find SCP Containment Breach Multiplayer mod start it the launcher should come up and look something like this these are the preferred resolution and video settings I use you can change this to your own liking uh, one other important thing that or actually oh, fuck wait okay I uh, f I totally forgot what I was about to say oh yeah what what I want to say is that to run like in case you're experiencing performance issues such as the game not starting or having memory access violations the best way to run the game then is to right right click and uh, 
run it, run it as an administrator. However, if the game runs normally, no problem, then you should not. Either way, when you have the launcher here, you select your video settings and then you hit launch. Now the intro may play here. If you know how to skip it, you can skip it. It's space for those who do not know. And the game might lag out or might have time. Like the longest it takes to load is probably at the start of the if you did everything correct, what I'm going to put the sound volume as it's extremely high down. If you did everything correct, this is how it should look. Now you can play this single player wise, meaning your it's containment breach single player. However, it's extremely buggy, so I rather recommend using the normal version of containment breach. Or you can play the main function of the mod multiplayer. Coming here, you should see the servers here. If you do not see the servers, that means two things. Either the servers are down or you have an out-of-date version of the game. Now, most of these servers are usually abandoned, so if you're too lazy or you still can't somehow figure out how to host a dedicated server, you should just join one of them. Oh yeah, Breach. Breach is basically SCP Secret Laboratory, but in this mode. And that's basically the servers like that's how you install the mod now I'm going to show you how to update the mod in case of problems now you have to come to this website you can either find this in the official SCP multiplayer mod discord or in my server I have both the invite to that discord and this link in that server so make sure you join it you need to come here you need to download it and then you just need to extract it into the folder so I'm just going to I already have the f like the latest version that's the one that I have installed so at the making of the vid you should have the latest version installed if you do not by any chance you just have to come here hit this button you'll get another zip as well and uh, you just have to extract it to the folder if it asks you to replace the files then you have to say say yes because it does need to replace the files or the entire thing will get extremely confusing and could probably just ruin the entire game having you to reinstall the entire thing again now for server dedicated server creation and joining so for the dedicated server you need to find the latest version of the server file now these are old versions so don't get fooled by them currently at the making of this video the latest version is server 0 point nine point seven like this one you open it and it should look like something like this if it does not it only has server and server config file no problem that means that the folder has not installed yet however however if uh, if I ha if but since you're downloading the mega file you should have the server up now to start the server you basically have to double click this but before you start it I recommend opening the server config file if it asks you to open with something you need to open it with notepad that's like the best one for it now the port you should not mess with the port unless you're port forwarding what is basically making the server public no cheat no cheat is if you want the command console to be enabled or not I if you keep it at zero it will be enabled you will be able to use it. If you keep it at 1, I think uh, you will not. Now, if I'm right, if you change this one to a specific, specific value, it will make it so that everybody can use the command console. But if you keep it at 0, if I'm right, it's host only. Intro enabled. Keep this at 0 at all times. You do not want to play the intro until it's fixed because it crashes the game or if you're playing with two players one player would either end up getting stuck in a wall or would just not end up waking up like it, it, he wake up outside the map timeout timeout should be kept at this much if you are friend you or your friends are having trouble connecting to the server being being that you are already in a lobby and you're trying to connect to a server you should change the first number to a 6 and if still problem then to a 12 However, in case you are not having any problems, keep this at free. 
voice true this is voice chat if you put voice false then it will turn off voice chat max players is 16 max I mean pl max players currently is set to 16 what is the best in my opinion you can put max 32 however the more higher the number of players the more the lag password you just type in a password if you want to have a password for your server jump mode is if you want to jump you can jump with alt in game and it's not exactly useful but it's a fun little thing gravity it's really just a jump mode difficulty self-explanatory tick rate I do not know what tick rate means so if you do in my opinion then you know what it means and you can change it or not but tick rate 180 one, 128 is uh, good for me at least breach mode if you want your server to have breach mode breach mode basically make it like SCP secret laboratory or something then you have to put this to true but I like to keep it at false because it's just because then you get the real containment breach experience breach time I'm not really sure what it does since I rarely played breach breach mode and I don't really like it here Archon password, I think that's admin password. I'm honestly not sure what that password does. These, most of these are like here, these some are only for breach. Keep inventory, self explanatory changes to one if you want to keep your inventory. If you change it, if it's at zero when you die, you will drop your items. Voice quality, uh, I do not know what that is. Stack size, I do not know what that is. Script. I do not know what that is and if I'm right somewhere here is where you can set the map seed however I'm not sure which one it is to set the map seed so you may need to ask a developer about that anyway if you have done everything you should be able to run the server by starting the server application you see if you did it correct this is how it should look it should give you everything you need to know the map seed the server name the difficulty and all of that that stuff that you can do in configuration now to join a server there are there are two ways if you and your friend are on the same network you can just go to the local tab and it should appear there now sometimes it does not appear if it does not appear no problem you just gotta either turn it off or on again or just wait a little more but if none of that works, if it never appears in local tab and you guys are not on the same Wi-Fi, then you gotta connect. Now I recommend using Hamachi for this. I mean, it's kind of your personal preference, but Hamachi reduces lag. I mean, in connection lag. Now basically, after you started up the server, you wanna go to your search bar. I'm not sure if Mac has this feature. This is Windows so far. You want to type in CMD, find the command prompt. The command prompt should come up. You need to turn. You need to type in IP config. Typing this in will list you uh, list you with a set of IPs that will go around. You gotta find IPv4, copy it, and then join. Start the game. I'm going to uh, pause pause the recording now so you do not see my IP address alright so now that we're in the game and the server is running you have to go to multiplayer and it should appear in local by default or if you have joined it already then it should be in history I have not joined this version of it so you have to hit direct connect paste in your IPv4 and put, and put in the port by default also watch out you do not accidentally click but you see here it appeared for me in local this is my server locally but basically you want to type in 50021 and this is the default port now if you have changed the port then you need to type in the port that you have made now I'm going to connect locally to my server but your friends need your own uh, like the host's IPv4 address to connect using direct connect or they can they can only or they can yeah they can only direct connect 
basically if you connect in this is how the lobby should look other players should appear here oh yeah quick tip if you want to change your name you cannot change it in lobby you need to go here to settings and here's the name also here's the voice chat settings so when you join a server this is how it should look if everybody ready is up the host should have this button called start game you start the game and you're loaded in. now you don't need to worry about the fact that if you or another player joins first as it really depends on who has the better Wi-Fi connection so it's not always the host that joins but if you have done it successfully then you should be able to join with your friends and your friends should also be in the server keep in mind your friends cannot join the server after the server has started its game so okay so this is a recording i have done after like during editing what i'm saying here will not be synchronized with what you're seeing on screen because as i said this i'm doing after editing basically what i do here i showcase how spawns work and uh, really that's it also I tell you why you should not save and try and reload the game as doing so crashes the game it also crashed mine on screen however I cut that clip uh, basic things you need to know about spawn when you die you uh, if you do not have a save point, you spawn back at SCP 173's containment chamber. If you have saved, you'll spawn at the location where you have saved. Now, if you have keep inventory on, you'll keep your items when you spawn. If you do not, they will be next to a dead body, and the items will be right. And yeah, the items will be next to the dead body. They will not disappear. However, there's a slight chance in some heavy containment areas or even entrance zone areas that the items might fall through the floor in that case one of you has to no clip down there or pick it up or if you don't want to then that item is gone forever so if it's a key item then the run is completely ruined unless you unless you no know, clipped out there also i said how you cannot load the game as it will crash your pc so trying to do this in multiple different times is not possible so you can either do it in one single playthrough or you can leave it like that that's that's how it is I'm sorry about that until they fix the load game issue that's how it's going to be all I want to say now is thanks for watching the video make sure to join my discord server for the encryption key and if you need any help help because you had trouble downloading the mod or creating a server I'm most of the time available just open a ticket and I'll be with I'll be supporting I'll be there to support you